Hi, this is Greg Lowe. This is another video in the STU Tool Series, and it's on comparing database objects. In particular, comparing the schema of one database to another, and comparing one table to another. For this example, I've created two databases, a WWI production database and a WWI UAT database. I've then created a customers table with an ID, a trading name, primary phone number and credit limit. I also created an index on the table and then inserted a row. In the second database, I created the same table, except I created it somewhat differently. So the sizes are different, the column orders are different, and the data types are different. I also created the index differently, and I created an extra table at the bottom so that we can pick up an additional table. Let's just run that script. Now let's see the differences. The GetDB schema core comparison looks at two databases and works out which objects are different. It has an option for the first database, the second database, whether or not we should ignore the column ID. So in this case, if the same columns are in the table, but the columns are in a different order, does that matter? Finally, we have an option to check whether the fill factors are the same on any index or the actual table structure itself. One of the advantages of these procedures is that we could programmatically consume the output of them. Rather than just having a, a tool that just generates a script with the differences, this can show us what the differences are while we're doing development, and we could use other tools then built over the top of this. This gives us a nice, quick summary. Let's have a look. Let's compare the two databases, and notice that what it's showing us is the first table is in the second database only, called WWI UAT, and it's called Customers Backup. It's then showing us that the Customers table is different in the two databases. Now let's look at what is actually different. We'll do a comparison using the schema comparison, the table schema comparison tool, We'll compare in this database DBO customers with UAT DBO customers. We're going to ignore column IDs and we're going to ignore fill factors the first time. The second time, we're not going to ignore the column ID. Let's have a look at the outcome. In the first comparison, we're told that the columns have a type mismatch. If we scroll across, we'll be able to see that the trading name is different in the two. In one, it's defined as nvarchar60, in the other it's an nvarchar100. Primary phone number is also different. It's nvarchar40 in one, and it's a text data type in the other. Now notice in the second, where we're checking column IDs as well, it tells us that the column IDs are wrong, and this is because we had the credit limit and the primary phone number around the other way compared to the first database. We hope you find these procedures useful. For more information on STU tools and for a link to download them, please visit our site at www.sqldownunder.com.